Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's start! Super tough! Stage 10! And the first thing that you'll notice is that this is definitely not like any of the other worlds. It's like it's in its own dimension. And you'll also notice that these are time attack stages! Yeah, there's even a little record thingy at the upper screen there. Um, that time attack timer there is very important to unlock the last stage in this place. So I'm gonna give you some minor spoilers here. When you reach 10-7, you find out the quote-unquote code, or I should say codes, to open the door. Like for instance, 10-1 is 004500. That translates to 45 seconds. The last two digits are tenths and hundredths of a second. So yeah, once you know what those, what the code at 10-7 uh, corresponds to, you know which stages you need to beat in what times. So the aim that I'm going to be doing here is one run just to slowly explore the stage and try and memorize it, you know, like, and, you know, like explain enemy names and stuff like that. And then after that, I'm going to attempt the actual speed runs of the stages, okay? Okay, here we go. Challenge one! Time attack! Get ready for awesome music! As you can see, these stages very much beat, uh, very much speed based here. But I'm gonna go, as I said, slow just to just so that you can get a feel for the stages layout and so I can scout ahead and memorize. <laughs> Um, there are some false pathways as well along the way, uh, so you gotta look out for that sort of thing, like before you run into something that you don't want to run into that's gonna slow you down. Also, keep in mind, like, see this right here? These currents, yeah, you don't want to go in these, they'll slow you down, but these you want to stay in the middle of. But look at that, the currents go in both directions here, so you got some precise swimming um, through this segment while the timer is still running here. Uh, over here, I think this is going to be the first split path segment that you're going to see. Yeah, you always want to take the upper route here because the lower route will lead you to... Well, you can get pearls if you want to, but yeah, that's going to really, really slow your route ugh, slow your route down. Yeah, so <laughs> avoid lower routes, take the upper routes in this third section, okay? And over here, you just want to go straight down and keep switching sides. Keep keep, ah, keep switching sides until you get to the plunger. Now, obviously, I need to do it in 45 seconds, but since I was stopping, you know, to explain stuff and whatnot along the way, it's time to redo said stage. All right. All right. Here we go. Now, let's see if I can do this for realsies. Go, 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 Starfy, go! Go, 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 Starfy, go! Just blast through the rocks! I don't know if I should have stayed in the current or cut the corner. Well, I guess we'll see soon enough. We'll see soon enough! Oh, yes, we will! Shoot, I went too far. We gotta... Oh, no, 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 no currents. Precision swimming. Don't hit the currents going against you, okay. And go, Starfy, forward and down and around and up, because down is death. Down is always death. <laughs> no, 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 not the currents. Oh, shoot. No, no, shoot, shoot. Yeah, it's really easy to mess up in these stages, hence why I might have to redo these a bunch of times before I get the hang of said route. Oh, yep. Ooh, ooh, I got it. But that's the easiest of the stages. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we got a Hacha Springs type of stage, 10-2. The code for this door is 022000, so it's 2 minutes and 20 seconds is your goal. Okay, okay, but as I said before, first I'm going to just do a dry run through the stage, and that's very mean. <laughs> I mean, you got the, the current, I mean, not not current, I mean, uh, the, the geyser there preventing you from making progress in all oh, poopers. I gotta jump from up here, don't I? Yep. Yeah. See, that's that's all you gotta sort of memorize these stages, and that right there is a belly bird. Uh, the, the enemies in this, in this stage are based off of a lot of the uh, other enemies in other stages, so yeah, uh, you shouldn't have any, uh, any problems dealing with them. 
Uh, I think door's off to the right side, actually, so I'm gonna want to stay on the right side as I drop through this. No, it's in the center. Okay. Just want to maximize my speed potential I go through this stage for realsies. Uh, with this here, you gotta go, yeah, do these things. It's been a while since we've done these, huh? <laughs> you don't use that move all that much, do you, uh, in this game? It's kind of too bad. But uh, it's a pretty cool move, and obviously if you fall here, you might as well restart your run. <laughs> I wanted to get... Oh shoot, was I supposed to do that? Oh, wait a second. Okay, I was. Uh, actually, I, I think I could... No, wait, I need, need to have a certain amount of height to get over there. Uh, okay, I gotta... Uh, oh, this section is really tricky if you don't know what you're aiming for. Yeah, you've got these geysers here, and they mess with you. Oh, yeah, that thing I killed was a Fido fin. Like a, you know, dogfish sort of thing. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot. <laughs> That's a pizzap. Yeah, it uh, electrocutes you if you let it go, yeah, on its own. Not really that big of a deal if you're just killing enemies immediately and you, when you see them. Um, see this right here? That, believe it or not, is a trap path. Like, if you were to... Go through here, you're like, oh, yep. <laughs> and the only way to get past that geyser, as far as I can tell, is to go as, as hug the wall like this as close as you can, and do a star spin, you'll bounce off the corner, just barely. Yeah, it's it's a really precise uh, thing I'm about there to do, especially when you are racing to the end of said stage. And we've got another one right here, Ooh, but that one's not nearly as bad as the first one. Um, I probably should be utilizing the geysers a little bit more here uh, in my in my future runs. Ah, oh, I let you on the screen for too long. I was too generous at letting you live. <laughs> anyway, through the door for some more. Uh, oh, 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 that's a, another new enemy. Well, I shouldn't say it's a new enemy. That is a uh, hot fludge. Yeah, fludge, not fudge. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Another pun name. Anyway, going up. Look out for the guys are going through the entire center. You gotta really race through that in order to get through there efficiently enough. Um, you can, if you know this stage really well, get through it far under um, 2 minutes and 20 seconds, but I don't know it all that well, so expect me to flub it. <laughs> the reason why you can get it get under uh, 2 minutes and 20 seconds is because you can... Um, bypass some stuff and stuff that would normally be blocking your... Uh, I mean, that's... Oh, shoot! No! That's terrible! Do not do that on the actual run, PK Gam. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, if you uh, take some routes, like... Because there's a lot of error that you can do here in that um, you can bypass certain sections of it, but I don't really know them all offhand, so it's probably going to be close for me. <laughs> Alright, ready for the actual run? I sure am. And if you don't realize, I'm probably going to end up doing uh, two stages per part. Because these stages are relatively short, but it's just the whole execution aspect of things that I've got to uh, master. Oh, like that. That costed me some time. But I might... Oh, no. I wasn't running when I was jumping. You know what? Oh, no, wait, no, not suspend stage. I was going to go back to the map. <laughs> Alright, two minutes, 20 seconds. We can do this. We can do this. By the way, uh, if you don't realize, this is the place, I should say, this is the world that the difficulty spikes in because of, oh shoot, the speedrunning thing. You've got to execute your moves with the greatest of ease. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, and ah, oh, that was a pretty decent movement section there because I had it memorized where I needed to go ahead of time and I'm just gonna spin my way down here because oh no 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 oh shoot I know birds are gonna get in my way alright go 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 Starfy go 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 Starfy go <laughs> two minutes twenty seconds for the win come on Always remember to run just before you jump, unless you're trying to save some time. And since I was a little bit too high there the last time when I came through, I'm going to hit the lower one. Yes! All right. And I can't make it up to the door if I don't hit that one on the left, I noticed. Okay. Through the zone on this segment. 
Here we go. <laughs> this could be the end of the run. This could be the run killer right here. If I don't get past this one. Oh yeah, I got it. Got it. Okay. This is going well. Going pretty well. Oh shoot. Geysers. Bubbling me away. No, 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 no. Not gonna happen. Not on my watch, mister. Oh shoot, corner. Corner is our nemesis. Screw the pearls. The timer's more important. Okay, I think I have a good shot at making this. Oh, I was pressing right after the start because I forgot which direction I was supposed to go. Oh no. Go, Starfy. <laughs> Get past the fire geyser. There we go. Okay, notice that I, I got past the fire geyser on one run as opposed to the. Oh no. Oh no. I think that's it for the run. <laughs> yeah! And that's all it takes. <laughs> oh, Alright, here we go. Yeah, I wasn't gonna make it to the end in uh, less than 10 seconds from that point. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll have a better chance at getting a better run here at the first segment now. Because, yeah, I had more potential to improve this spot right here. There we go. That's what I call a run. Carefully, and oh, don't bounce off the birds. No bouncing off birds, Starfy. Ah, oh, no, you're bouncing off birds. That's still faster than the first run. All right. The tension, it runs high in this place. <laughs> Especially... Oh, no, 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 no. I'd rather lose a second there than try and make the jump when I'm not at full jump. Because <laughs> that would pretty much cost the run. Okay, just remember to master all of your moves before you try these stages. Well, actually, you're, you're probably going to end up having to master them in this stage. Because no stage in the game is quite as intensive as stage 10. Yeah, anyway, we got... The geysers of doom. Oh, dang it. Mm, no. <laughs> why? Why are you there? To stall for time, I know, but still, why are you just there in nature? Oh, yes, got it. Okay. That one's always so scary in the run of the stage, I tell you. <laughs> okay, the second one, not nearly as bad as the first, because you have a wider corner to bounce off of. Okay, use the geysers to your advantage. Oh! Geysers weren't to my advantage there. Well, maybe they kind of were, because uh, I, even though I took a hit there, I still just went straight through the enemy. Oh, I went to the right again! No, 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 no. We're not going to have any of those shenanigans, mister. <laughs> oh, sh no, no. I can't touch walls. Cannot hit walls. Every move must be smooth. Everything... Must be efficient. Okay, here's where I fell the last time. Not gonna have any of that this time. No, 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 no. I know that's coming up in the center, so I'm going off a little bit to the right. Um, right here. Okay, gotta go. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, we're getting... This is gonna be pretty close. Yeah! I got it! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part where I'm going to get another adrenaline rush.